Good morning, Facebook. Sorry, the lighting's bad in here, um, but it's early in the morning. So I thought I would make a seven-week uh, post-op video update. So I went today, or yesterday, I went Wednesday the 27th to my six-week follow-up visit because, and it was a week behind, so, or I was seven weeks instead of six weeks, but the reason for that is so that they could get my, um, my class and my doctor's visit together and so I'm gonna fall like that one week above um, my uh, dates every time so I went today and I weigh well the other day I was at the YMCA and I weighed just about 200 pounds and today um, and that was Monday so today um, at my doctor's office I weighed 205 so um, lost five pounds from last video um, officially and um, but I think it's because I'm holding in because um, I'm, I'm not having regular bowel movements um, so um, you can hold in extra weight with that so just to let you know um, I was kind of uncomfortable at my doctor's office, uh, just physically, not, not, um, not uncomfortable with him or anything, but, um, like my stomach was hurting, you know, I, I didn't feel good, um, and I tried eating a, a waffle on the way there because I thought, oh, I'll treat myself, and, um, yeah, that did not work. It sucked, and so I was kind of ill all day long for my breakfast and so I didn't even feel like eating the rest of the day it was horrible I felt awful um and as a matter of fact I still kind of felt full so um or like I just don't care to eat and so uh he was actually proud of me he said that you know I understand that the waffle thing he's like but this is the time that you need to learn because later on you're not going to have that, you know, it kind of lessens as you go. So, um, I'm just trying to get rid of waffles. And it, like, really upsets me because, you know, you got to get rid of these things in your life. And I know that I can't be eating it. And he said that, you know, the more you eat it, the more you allow yourself to, you know, return back to your old lifestyle. So, i um, totally got to knock that out. And just totally felt really bad and I'm sorry I slept today because I was very tired I worked last night and went straight to my doctor's appointment it took us two hours to get there two and a half actually and then um, I got out at like oh I guess 12 we went somewhere in Dallas Fort Worth and we didn't leave Dallas Fort Worth till like 1 30 and so uh, we didn't get home till 4.30, and traffic was horrid. I hated it. It was bad, um, and they got road construction, so, um, but I'm down to two, uh, 205, so that's 60 pounds from my highest weight, um, five pounds down from two weeks ago, um, which is better than nothing, and, um, I told y'all, about the YMCA. I started the YMCA Monday the 25th, I guess. No. Yes, the 25th, I think, is when I started. Um, it was Monday, July 25th. And um, I got on the uh, treadmill. Actually, that day was a good day for me. I got up at like 7 and actually 5.30, excuse me. I sorted out all the clothes that was in my garage um, that I no longer can wear and took them to the wash, uh, to the laundry room, uh, to the laundry mat and uh, got them washed up, clean, folded, all that good stuff and ready to give them away because I'm gonna, majority of them is going to my mom but whatever she can't wear or she doesn't want, I'm gonna probably put them in a garage sale or something. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Anyways, uh, um, so I did that 
And while I was at the laundromat, I went through a whole 32 ounce bottle of Powerade Zero. I went through a whole bottle of water, a 20 ounce bottle of water. And I went through a whole bottle, a big bottle of muscle milk. Now, I've never drank muscle milk. And apparently there's two different kinds of muscle milk. There's a light muscle milk. There's a regular muscle milk. The muscle milk that I drank had a lot of sugar in it. Let me tell you, holy crap. Um, <laughs> I got home and my stomach was like rolling in the deep. I mean, it was rolling. And so um, I, for the first time, had dumping syndrome and um, had it all that day. And so never again, original muscle milk will I ever drink you. You made me feel sick. Um, I told my dietitian that. I was like, hey, you know, I didn't have um, constipation that day, but um, I did this that day. And I, I wonder if it could be because of all the liquids. And she said, actually, the muscle milk, did you drink just the regular muscle milk? And I was like, yeah, I didn't know there was a different kind. And she's like, um, regular muscle milk has a lot of sugar in it, Megan. So that's why. So I figured out why I had diarrhea that day. And it was dumping. <laughs> so. So just to let you know, uh, you don't want to do that. It, it, it's not that it really sucks horrifically, because for me it was a reprieve from the same old that I'm that I'm you know getting used to. But um, just it's uh, it, it it just uh, it just felt really awkward and strange and just um, my stomach kind of cramped up and that didn't feel too pleasant. So just let you know, sugars a lot of sugar for me does not sit well. So. I'm doing good by what I'm doing because if I got sick off of anything else that I was doing, um, then I wouldn't be able to do that. So, um, like I said, I'm doing about eight grams of sugar a day and I could tolerate that. Um, I mean, eight sugars in a setting, in a, in a serving. Uh, what else? I, uh. I've been having this tightness in, in my back. Um, I don't know what it's from, but um, I don't know if it's because I was lifting weights and I'm sore, because that could be it. I'm gonna go to the gym today, uh, or if it's because I'm having heartburn, um, but I don't think so, um, or if it's because I've got a lot of gas, but I don't think so again. And, because the gas is like up in the upper abdomen area, The upper stomach so um but I have been experiencing a lot of, a lot of gas so um my nutritionist said that it could be because of all the beans that I'm eating and a lot of protein that I'm getting in um from beans and so the beans make you really gassy so just kind of watch that but um uh, other than that everything is going really good my physician is very proud of my progress um just glad to know that I'm losing the weight and that it's you know that I'm doing really good and that I have signed up with the gym and I'm staying with it and I'm gonna go to the gym this morning like I said and um, do the best I can um by the way I talked to a counselor um, I was supposed to talk to a counselor Saturday I mean excuse me Monday but she got held up um, at the airport so I talked to her Saturday at 4 a little coffee shop how how you know crazy is that because I can't really drink coffee but um I bring my water and just drink on the water and be happy that I got that so um I um I'm gonna talk to her about going back to our in school online and um see how that works and let's see how that goes for me and I've only got eight classes and one prereq my eight core classes and a free rec and I can do this guys I can I could totally go back and I can do this I know I can so um I am um, just have to believe in myself and I have to push myself to do it so I have to be very self-dedicated so um we're gonna we're gonna definitely start this so just to let you know on that front um I'm trying to think of what else uh not much else. Let me show you my, my face without my hair. Because my hair is like showing on my face. 
my face has gone down a lot um my neck has gone down a lot um my shoulders i can tell on my shoulders that i've gone down a lot um my arms are jiggly and ugh, um having some extra skin in places um already and so i know that i need to get to the gym and, and do that so um other than that i'm just chilling out i'm feeling good i'm freaking on top of the world um still having a hard time getting my vitamins down and, and my protein powders but um uh, my surgeon said that i shouldn't be eating any more than four ounces and four ounces is like max so uh, it's not how much you can eat it's how much you need to eat so um and to not get full uh, you shouldn't be getting full uh, you should not have that full feeling you should just be uh, content I guess satisfied so um, may need to work on that I don't know um, I really don't know what he means by because like I don't I just know when I'm done and I don't ever hurt when I push the plate away and I, I say I'm done I don't ever hurt I don't ever feel or anything like that I don't feel that I just feel satisfied so I mean I don't know I mean but I say it's being full because I'm done so um I guess I need to reward that I need to start rewarding stuff with him because he's like you shouldn't be feeling full and you because you're stretching and you know so I think I need to reward some stuff whenever I go to him next time <laughs> And just let him know I'm eating till I'm done and when I'm done I feel good and I don't feel over full and I don't feel pain and I don't feel stuffed and you know I don't feel those things and cause they, today I had a kind of a hard time with him so I'm just telling him explaining to him how I feel after after I eat because you know when I'm done I'm done and I'm like Oof, I'm done you know I exaggerate a lot of things I put a lot of emphasis in my words and I think it's because I'm I'm a clean 101 maybe I don't know so um anyways but I'm doing really good and I feel really good and um uh I'm gonna try some of those pr uh, pure protein bars that Nana's Journey uh put up on our website I gotta wait till I get some money so um the pure protein bars and I'm gonna try this special K like I haven't tried cereal at all because I'm just kind of scared to but gonna start trying it because now I'm on stage four and I can have pretty much anything I could tolerate um as far as it's you know low sugar low fat and um low cal you know calories have to be low in it and oh my dietitian also said that um if you do snack um when you snack that you should try to get foods that are like 20 to 30 calories a serving because if you can get into that range those are considered free foods and um, when you're snacking you shouldn't snack on chips or um, uh, crackers or anything like that so I gotta watch that because um, that's what I usually go to is the Triscuits or I do goldfish sometimes and um, but have you ever not I was like in between meals and I already had my protein powder shake and I was just wanting something my, my stomach was kind of hungry so I grabbed like five little nuts and um, had those and I was satisfied it was done so um uh, she said that was great and that um actually I could have a little handful of nuts in a little bag she showed me and um or a piece of cheese or a uh, half of an egg or you know um a tablespoon of peanut butter or you know something like that so but I've been eating the peanut butter I actually ate the peanut butter for a real meal so um just to let you know because I can't I can't down very much and when you can't put down very much you just kind of grab for stuff that's just kind of not very much and that you're just and now I have I can't even get a tablespoon it's like a teaspoon maybe two and that's it of the peanut butter with a couple of goldfish and so uh so I have to have something with my peanut butter but anyways I'm fixing to try to start eating fresh veggies and see how that goes and uh I guess I guess that's it and I will see y'all next time y'all have a good week pray for me think about me um and hope I get to skinny bill 